Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at Image Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another request and this one is long overdue. Okay, we're going to model a gas pump, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to do it in two stages. We're going to start with the gas pump nozzle and then we're going to model the pump itself. Okay, so for the nozzle, I'm just going to load a reference image. So I'm going to go to my panel view here and I'm going to go to my front view, click on view image plane import image and on my desktop I have a folder called gas pump and there is our nozzle picture okay just uh, have that load up I'm gonna switch to our perspective view we're gonna hit R to scale it looks like it's uh, lagging just a little bit there we go Okay, so I'm just going to scale it up nice and big. All right, and then I'm going to tilt it a little bit. And for that, I'm going to move to this view, to my front view. And I'm going to rotate that to, let's do about this. I just want to have the top part fairly level. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to switch back. We're going to create a polygon cube. We're going to drag that out in the grid just so we have a starting point. And then we're gonna switch to our front view. Here we go, okay. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it up here and we're gonna map out the basic shape for this guy, all right? So we will need to, let's see, right click, go to vertex, take that vertex and we'll drag that one down here. And we'll take that one and we'll drag that down here. Looks about right. And then we'll go to object mode. We'll hit R and we'll push it in to make it nice and flat. Right click face. We're going to select that one. And we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude under face. Hit W to pull that out. Go back to this view here. And let's see where we're at. And we're gonna focus on the top for now. So we're just gonna move that out like so. Then we're gonna hit G to repeat, W to pull out. And we'll move another one there. Okay, and we'll do the same at this end. And then we'll work on the bottom section, okay? So here, take this guy, edit mesh, extrude under face, hit W, and pull that out just a little. We're gonna go to this view. We're gonna bring that down here. And I'll just uh, turn on my X-ray mode so you can see it a bit better. Okay. And we're gonna hit G to repeat. And we're gonna pull that out to, let's say here. Okay. Now let's do with the rest of this stuff. Okay. We're gonna right click our vertex and take these two hit W and we're going to start to bring that up to about there. I'll take this guy. We'll bring it in there. All right. And then we'll take this guy and this guy. And for our initial layout, not too bad. Okay. We're going to tweak it a little bit. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to this view right here. Right click object mode and we're going to hit three to smooth it out. Now, as you can see, that is a bit too much. So we're going to hit one to go back and we're going to add some edge loops to hold the shape, right? So mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box, single setting. There we go. And we're going to just start to add some edges here. So one there, one there. We'll do one on the top at this end, one top at that end. And looks like we have most of it. Hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, and hit three once again. Starting to look a little bit better, okay? Not quite there yet. Select it again, hit one once more. We're gonna hit G, oops, we don't want that. We're going to go back to Mesh Tools Injured Edge Loop Tool and we're going to add an edge up there. 
we'll do one there and one there one up there and one there one there and one there and once again hit Q on your keyboard right click object mode hit 3 to smooth out that's already looking a bit better okay all right okay so what's next we're gonna add a little bit of detail I'm not gonna follow the example exactly but um, just a little bit okay so we're gonna take this guy and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click go to vertex and let's see what the best angle is to get those probably the top just gonna select these all right and we're gonna hit R and we're gonna just pull that in a little bit like so and then I'm gonna add a few edge loops so my still entered edge loop tool option box this time we're gonna go with multiple and we're gonna do two and I'm gonna do two come on two there and let's do two there okay Q on my keyboard right click vertex and now I'm going to select these two these two these two these two these two these two and these and hopefully I didn't select anything else and look like I did I'm just gonna hit four for wireframe mode so I can see it a bit better seems to be okay all right five for shaded mode and I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna start to stretch them out a little bit like this okay and then what we're gonna do is right click go to face well, that's a bit too much I just want these edit mesh extrude under face hit W and we're gonna pull that out that's all right and then just to add a little bit of detail we're going to take these three and these three edit mesh extrude under face we're going to hit R and we're going to pull that out like so and then we're going to take this face to this one and we're gonna hit G to repeat and let's add some thickness to it and again it doesn't have to be identical to the object that we have <clears throat> as long as it looks similar to what we want okay now this is fairly rounded so we're gonna add a round component here and we're gonna deal with our tube section okay now for that I'm going to start with a uh, polygon cylinder initially just give that a little height not too much we're going to go to mesh tools into edge loop tool option box and we're going to do five and let's add them right there and then we're going to move into this view I'll just go to object mode and move it over a little bit object mode there we go we're going to zoom in I'll right click vertex and we're going to start to select these hit R and we're going to scale them out skip one row skip another row to about there okay right click 
object mode. We're going to hit E, we're going to rotate it. Let's check from our top view so we can see what's going on. Hit W to move it. It has to move over here. I have to zoom in for, for wireframe mode so we can kind of see whether it's in proportion and sitting okay. Then we're going to check this view. It needs to come up, as you can see. And now we're going to check it from our perspective view. Okay, and you can see that it has to be at an angle, right? So we'll do that from this view. Just going to turn off my x-ray for a sec. And we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that until the angle is correct. Hit W to move that in. And that looks roughly the right size. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to create this uh, pipe section. So we're going to take a polygon pipe, pull that out, pull that up. And in our attribute editor, we're going to, uh, let's see. First of all, we're going to decrease thickness to one to make it nice and thin. We'll add some subdivision. We'll make that 30. And we'll put it in position. So hit E. Rotate that. By minus 90. There we go. Same deal. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down quite a bit. Hit W and move it over here. Hit F to zoom in. R to scale down some more. And W to move it in. We're starting to get where we need to be. That looks about right. Then we're going to check it from this view. We need to bring it down. F to zoom in. And again, we're going to rotate because we want to have the correct angle. And again, we're not following our example exactly, but just so we have a reference, okay? It's not too far off, all right? Then next, we're going to zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, go to Face. And we're going to select that entire face row, and we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude Under Face. So now we can hit W to pull that out. And now we're going to try to follow this roughly. Okay, so we'll do something like this. We'll hit E to rotate it a little bit. We'll hit G to repeat. W to pull out. and E to rotate it some more. We'll hit G to repeat. W to pull out. Angle is pretty good. G to repeat. W to pull out. G to repeat. W to pull out. And we're just going to follow our way down. G to repeat, W to pull out. And you could do that in one section, but just trying to keep some consistency. And one more. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Now, let's see if we can smooth this guy out. Right-click object mode, hit 3 to smooth it, and just check and see what we got. Okay, it's not bad. All right. Now for the handle section. That's going to be a bit tricky. Okay. We can extrude it from here, probably. So let's see if that's a good idea or not. Uh, let me think. Yeah, we could probably do that, although they are two different sections. So well, let's not do that. Okay. So here, this is definitely two sections. So we're going to start with a cube. And we're going 
to drag that out. Get some height, pull it down, and just start to get it roughly into position. And we're going to start with the top right corner. So that one is uh, pretty much okay. I'll turn back on my x ray. There we go. We're going to right click, go to vertex, take this guy. And we're going to position it over here. And then we'll take these two. And let's do this and just take that one. I think I got the wrong one. Let's just redo that. OK, this one will go over here. And this one. Well, do here. Okay. Check it from a top view. Right click object mode. We're going to bring that in. I have to zoom in. Bring it down to about there. Hit R and scale it in a bit. Which gives us that. Okay, not too bad. We're going to right click at a face. We're going to take that, edit mesh, extrude under face. We're going to hit W and we're going to push that out. And then right click vertex. Let's push that down. And actually, we probably can even pull it out all the way here. And we're going to need to take that vertex push that down here and we'll take this one and we'll push that down here just to keep that fairly level and we'll push that one out a little bit okay all right so we got that let's check and see what we have now like I said we have two sections up here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some edge loops we're gonna go to mesh tool insert edge loop tool option box we're going to select two, add them right there, and we're going to hit R, and we're going to drag them out like this. Okay. And we're probably going to need one more. Mesh tools, enter the loop tool option box, single setting, and we'll do one around there. And let's see if that's the right fit. Hit Q on your keyboard. Okay, and what we're going to do next is right-click face. We're going to take these two faces and go to Edit Mesh and Extrude. Hit W and pull that up. And let's see what we've got. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we're a little bit off our reference image, but we can kind of all eyeball that. So that would go there. We're going to right-click at a vertex, and we're going to take this corner. And we'll push that out here. And then we'll just need to tweak this one, which will go. No, actually, we can't do that. OK, we're going to smooth this out. So let's see how it looks. OK, and maybe just bring this one in. Like I said, it doesn't have to follow our example exactly. OK. Now, when we smooth this out, we'll see that we need additional edge loops, but I'll just show you. Right-click object mode, hit 3 to smooth. And there you go. Need some work. So I hit 1 to go back. Mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box, single setting. And here we go. Add one up there. One up there. We'll do one there, and we'll do one there, and we'll do one here, and here, and that's getting fairly close. We'll do one up here. We're going to hit Q on our keyboard, right-click object mode, select it, and hit 3. It's starting to look a lot better. Okay, let's just see if we can tweak it a bit more. 
Okay, what else do we need? Not too much, but this doesn't look very smooth. So let's see if there's something we can do about that. Edit mesh, uh, sorry, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box, multiple. We'll do five. I can add them right there. Hit Q on my keyboard. I click object mode and hit three. That is already a lot better. Okay, not bad. Right, so we got that. Now we got our um, lever, I think it's called. And based on my reference image, I'm not quite sure how that is connected, if you will, but we'll do our best, okay? So we're gonna take another polygon cube, get that some height. We're going to go to our top view and we're going to move that towards where it needs to be. Hit F to zoom in. Let's see if we can make that thing. Uh, uh, let me see. That should be about it. Okay. From my side view, it's over there. So we're going to bring that down. And let's start somewhere around here. After zoom in, we're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that until we have that approximate angle. Right click vertex. Take those two, hit W, move that up. OK. And then we're going to go to perspective view, move in. Right click face. Edit Mesh, Extrude under Face. We're going to hit W. We're going to go back to this view. And we're going to start to pull that out. G to repeat. W to pull out. Let's try and keep uh, the sections roughly similar. So G to repeat again. W to pull out. G to repeat. W to pull out and so forth, GW, GW, and just to speed things up, I'll just uh, kind of make bigger jumps, G to repeat, W to pull out, and we're going to need to tweak that in a sec, right click edge, we're going to hit E, and we're going to rotate that, and hit W and bring it down. Looks like we only got one, so that's not good. So we'll do it this way. We'll take the vertices and we'll hit E and rotate. That should be better. And W to bring down. Oops. Now I need to switch back to this view. Edit mesh, extrude under face, and there we go again. W to move out to about there. And I'm going to worry about the bottom section in a, in a bit, okay? So, G to repeat, W to pull out. G to repeat, W to pull out. G to repeat, and W to pull out. Okay. Now we're going to right click, go to vertex. We're going to start to manipulate, manipulate these. Okay. So let's take that, bring it in here. Take these two. We'll do one there and we'll take that one and we'll do one there. Okay. All right. Now let's smooth this guy. And we'll probably need to add edge loops once again. Yep. So insert edge loop, option box, single setting. There we go. And we'll add one here. Add one there. One there and one there. That should probably do the trick. And maybe one here. Okay. 
key on your keyboard, right click object mode and hit three. Much better. Okay. So what we've got left, so we've got this uh, bracket thing going on. Okay. The, uh, what is that? Lever, lever, whatever. Okay. So for that, um, <laughs> let me think, uh, we'll do another cube. We'll pull it up and what we'll do is we'll right click, go to face and take this, this, and this and delete it. Okay. Right click object mode. Let's go to our top view. F to zoom in. Hit W and we're going to move that in here. F to zoom in. And let's uh, align it from this view. That should be about right. Okay, we're going to move it down. And let's check our reference to see where we're at. Okay. All right, so we're going to rotate it. So hit E and rotate it to get towards that angle. We're going to hit W and we're going to move it a bit. Now let's start somewhere around here. Okay, we're going to right click, go to vertex, oops, just on this guy, take that, and we're going to pull that out here, and then we're going to zoom in, right click edge, take one, two, three edges, edit mesh, and extrude under edge this time. Hit W, pull it out a little bit. Okay. Let's bring that probably all the way down here. And again, it's hard to see because of our reference image. Right click vertex, take this guy, and we're trying to follow the angle of our bracket. There we go. And then we're going to go to uh, Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool, Option Box. That's good. And we'll add one right here, which is fine. And hopefully it did that on both sides, and it did not. So we're going to G to repeat. Come on. Injured Edge Loop Tool. Okay, good, good. And then we're going to right click, go to edge, take that one and that one, I think. Yep. Go to edit mesh and extrude under edge, hit W, and we're going to pull that up to about there. G to repeat, W to pull up again. G to repeat, W to pull up again to about there. Then we're going to right click vertex. And let's start to tweak these. Uh, we'll do that one down here. We'll do that one here. And that one there. Okay. So it's somewhat embedded in our model. So we're going to right click object mode and we're going to raise and pull out the whole thing. Okay. With that selected, we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude while our object is selected. We're going to give it some thickness, not too much. Let's do 0 0.05. Right click object mode, hit three to smooth it out. That is not bad. Okay. Now we need to add um, a uh, screw set to hold that thing in place. So we'll add a uh, polygon cylinder. Nothing fancy. Hit E, rotate that 90 degrees. Okay. And we're going to hit W and we're going to bring that in. So don't worry too much about your uh, 
reference image we are now focusing on our model so I'll turn off the x-ray okay I have to zoom in and we'll hit R to scale it up and then from our top view we'll probably have to bring it in so move that in F to zoom in we can clearly see our bracket here so we can now hit R and push it in and W and pull it down maybe make it a little bit longer okay let's see what we got okay so we got all that all right now for the back section we're gonna take this thing right there and we're gonna hit control D to copy it we're gonna move it back and we're gonna hit E and we're gonna flip it around looks like I took the wrong handle Let's try that again. Uh, let's get that in the right angle. So I hit W, pull it over here. I have to zoom in. I need to rotate just a little bit. And W to pull it in. Okay. So what we've got so far. So this is what we got. All right. Now we're going to create the hose for the uh, the pump when we do the pump. Okay. We are going to add some textures to start with, and it seems that we have a bolt here as well. So I'll just uh, take this thing, Control D to duplicate, and I'll just hit four for wireframe mode, so I can see where I'm at. It's up here somewhere and let's check our original model so five um dum -dum -dum -dum. that would be about here and it has to scale up a little bit okay check it from a top view that it's not sticking out too much we'll hit r and we'll scale it in just slightly and move it up just a tad as they say in the UK all right let's add some textures to this okay so I'll start with the main body right click assign new material let's do a blin uh, let me think yeah we'll do a blin okay and we're going to change its color to red, obviously, like that. Then we have these components that look like a black plastic. So assign new material, blend, and we'll do black on that. This section and this section, we'll do chrome. Assign new material, MIA underscore X, material tab, presets, Chrome, replace. And this section, this section, and this section, they are not Chrome. It's more like a matted finish. So we'll right click, assign new material, MIA material presets setting metal and replace there we go one more detail we need to add which is this wire up here okay which is going to be pretty tricky probably we're going to go up to create polygon primitive uh, helix let's drag that out that's a bit big but we'll fix that no worries we're going to go to our polyhelix. Uh, let's see, radius will do 1, 0.25 maybe. That's even better. And number of coils will do 
let's do seven. Okay, we want a bit more distance, so we're gonna increase the height, like so. And then we're gonna switch to our top view. And we're gonna move that over, have to zoom in. And we're gonna bring that in so we can see if we are centered, like so. We're gonna hit R to scale in until we roughly have the right dimension. And then we're gonna to switch to this view, hit W, bring that down, bring that in, hit E to rotate. And let's see where we're at. Hit W, that should be pretty close. And let's move that up a little to about there. And I'm still gonna need to check it to make sure that it's not cutting into the mesh and so forth. That's not too bad, okay. All right, maybe we can just scale it in just a little. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of our reference image and I'm gonna add some material to this spring assign new material MIA presets chrome and replace there we go and I'm just gonna quickly set something up so we can render this out let's see how we're doing on time uh, that's pretty long okay so yeah what I'll do is we'll finish this up and then we'll do the pump in part two okay but just uh, quickly set up a scene here so we can see what this looks like and I'll just bring that down and bring that in we just want to make sure that it looks okay before we move on right okay so assign new material we'll do a fong E Let's make that white. And let's set up some lighting. Create lights, point light. Hit seven on your keyboard so you can see what your light's doing. And we'll quickly add an HRI image. So we're gonna go to mental ray in our render settings. Indirect lighting. I'll set up global illumination. I'm not gonna use final gather for now. Uh, and we're gonna create image base lighting. And I'll just find one of my HDRI images. And these are usually, you can download them for free. You can check out HDR labs, for example, uh, .com, uh, where they got all sorts of nice stuff, okay? Um, all right, so I'll just take one of these, that's fine. Set up my resolution gate. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yep. Okay, and we'll just do a quick test render. Okay, see you guys in a sec. All right, there you go. That's our uh, gas nozzle for now. And um, we'll be back in part two with the pump and the hose and so forth. All right. See you guys in a bit.